This is Dr. Richard Cunningham and I'm a knee and shoulder specialist with Vail Summit Orthopedics and today I'm going to talk to you about partial knee replacement of the area under the kneecap or so-called patellofemoral arthroplasty. I see a lot of patients in the office that come to see me with end-stage arthritis under their kneecap and in that case they've lost all the cartilage on the underside of the kneecap and also in the groove where the kneecap tracks but the remainder of their knee is normal. The cartilage between their femur and the tibia is normal, the meniscus is normal, and all their ligaments are normal. In this case, patients do very well with a partial knee replacement of the area under the kneecap in which we're just resurfacing that area. In a patellofemoral arthroplasty or resurfacing of the kneecap portion of the knee, we're placing a thin metal surface here in the trochlea where the kneecap tracks, and then we're also adhering a thin plastic surface to the underside of the kneecap such that someone who was once bone on bone under the kneecap is then metal against plastic. And that is very successful in alleviating pain due to arthritis confined to the area under the kneecap. In surgery, an incision is made over the center of the kneecap. The kneecap is slid out of position and the bone is exposed. The surface of the trochlea or the groove in the knee is then prepared and a trial is placed. The underside of the kneecap is exposed and a flat cut is made, removing all the worn cartilage. Drill holes are placed in the back of the kneecap and a trial component is placed. The knee is then put through a range of motion to check that the trial component of the kneecap tracks centrally in the groove of the implant on the femur. Antibiotic cement is then placed on the distal femur in the groove and the implant is inserted and impacted into position any excess of cement is then removed. Cement is applied to the underside of the kneecap and the final component is compressed into position. Any excess of cement is then removed. The tourniquet is deflated and any blood vessels are coagulated. The wound is then closed. My patients who undergo resurfacing of the patella or so-called patellofemoral arthroplasty or partial knee replacement of the patella can go home the same day they don't need to stay overnight in the hospital. They can put full weight on their knee right away, but most patients due to pain are on crutches for the first seven to 10 days and then weaning off the crutches. They're started in physical therapy immediately after surgery, first to regain the range of motion of the knee and then later to work on strength. Most patients can spin on an exercise bike in the first couple days and can be riding a bike outdoors at eight weeks from surgery and be back to hiking at three months. Patellofemoral arthroplasty surgery is an excellent option for patients with arthritis isolated in the area under the kneecap. I think it's a much better procedure to consider in these patients rather than a full knee replacement. As it's less invasive and the recovery is quicker and the end result feels much more like your natural knee because we only have resurfaced that one area of the knee that has arthritis. This is Dr. Richard Cunningham from Vail Summer Orthopedics and I thank you for watching this video on partial knee replacement of the area under the kneecap or patellofemoral arthroplasty surgery.